Cliff, tell me what's going on in the world. Well, apparently there's a lot of aliens out there, and I need to go work out at the gym. You want to talk about Planet Fitness? Yeah, and aliens. All right, let's go. So new policies are in place regarding face masks at Planet Fitness. Is that your gym, Cliff? Planet Fitness? Yeah, you know, I've gone from time to time. Yeah, I thought it was. And starting August 1st, you are going to have a new requirement when working out. That's right, you will need to wear a mask even when physically working out, not just entering and leaving the building. What do you think? It's a lot to take in. It is a lot. It'll be hard to breathe. The company sent out an email to members of its 2,000 plus locations stating that they have, quote, enhanced our existing cleanliness policies and procedures, but still plan on doing more. Thus, the mask mandate. So are you carrying a mask with you at all times, Cliff? What's that? Are you carrying a mask with you? You're not? Well, don't worry. The company will provide one to you if you forget yours before you work out. Hopefully, it will match your jean shorts. Good luck out there, everyone, and stay safe while working out. For those of you who remember the X-Files, you might recall a slogan reading that the truth is out there. Well, according to recent reports, it looks like the truth is actually right in front of us. As always, yeah, the truth is. is always right in front of yeah. us. How do you feel about extraterrestrial life? I would love to meet aliens. You would it's love on to my bucket list. Oh, yeah, me too. So you may recall in early 2020, the Pentagon made certain reports declassified to the public. These included different investigations involving UFOs and other related phenomena. This is about to get weird, so stay with me, okay? I love weird. So a New York Times article released late last week had some interesting info, specifically around the topic of debris found from unidentified crashes. Eric Davis, an astrophysicist that worked with the Pentagon since 2007, you're an astrophysicist, right? Oh, yeah. Um, said we couldn't make it ourselves, so when referring to the source of the discovered materials. Uh, did you catch that? Kind of. So, so basically, am I crazy, or does this article really seem to point to the most real possibility that ET is out there? I hope so. Yeah. I've been waiting my whole life to meet one. Yeah, me too. So, not sold yet? Well, as recently as March, Mr. Davis gave a briefing to a Defense Department agency discussing retrievals of, quote, off-road vehicles not made on this earth. Call the men in black. Here comes the men in black. Walgreens is in the news as their CEO of five years, Stefano Passina, has made the decision to step down. Have you shopped there recently? Yeah, I buy all my produce at Walgreens. Hmm. The company has been feeling pressure for a while from the likes of Amazon and other retail competition. COVID has hit particularly hard for the pharmacy giant as store closures and layoffs have resulted from the economic downturn. Kelsey, I know you dabble from time to time in the stock market. If you're looking for a place to invest, maybe Walgreens is the place. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. good to know. Well, as the company begins to search for a new leader, it might be time to look into some investing as the company really has nowhere to go but up. Investors believe Walgreens will cast a wide net during their hiring process to ensure they snag the right candidate. All right, time for our first question break in 10 seconds on the clock. Cliff, what do you buy at Walgreens? Yo-yos and diapers. Everybody has their preferences. We're about two months past the launch of yet another new streaming service in HBO Max. So Kelsey, uh, are you a subscriber of HBO Max? I'm a subscriber for Amazon Prime and Netflix. Oh, no Disney. That's rude. Okay. Uh, AT&T CEO John Stanky described the launch as flawless on a recent investor call as they added 4.1 million subscribers during the quarter. Those are nice numbers, but don't include the Roku or Amazon Fire platforms as they aren't supported as of now. Any thoughts on that? No. <laughs> no? Okay. The announcement followed the company's earnings call, which exceeded expectations even amongst the COVID pandemic. If we didn't already love our four-legged friends enough, here's another reason. A new study shows that dogs can sniff out COVID-positive patients with 94% accuracy. 94%? That's amazing, Pickles. That's higher than our COVID vaccine percentage, actually. Yeah, I know. You can often tell when I haven't worn deodorant, but dogs' sense of smell is even more acute. Actually, 10,000 times more accurate than humans. Pretty impressive, huh? Very. Imagining going to a sporting event or airport and being sniff tested by Fido. Uh, I don't want to see any dogs at the airport. I'll just say that. <laughs> Neither do I. I'm more worried about dogs discovering other things about me at the airport. <laughs> you read. That's fine. Things are looking down on the strip right now as shares of MGM fell 6% after casinos told the staff if they were not recalled from furlough by August 31st, they were fired. MGM originally thought the layoff would be brief, but recently stated that it doesn't look like it will be safe to restart shows prior to August 31st, 2020. But more importantly, what am I going to do with my Britney Spears tickets now? I don't know. Give them to me. Yes, it looks like the large major majority of casino employees will be let go. All right, second question break and 10 seconds on the clock. Cliff, have you been to Vegas in 2020? You know, usually I go for work, but no travel this year. Boo. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with us. Remember, now you can post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, get a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. 
Thanks for tuning in a little bit. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, you still there? Have you followed us on our IG or downloaded us yet? Do so before the aliens come and find me.